Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So, excuse the lighting if it's uh, going to get dark here in a minute. As you can tell, the sun is setting back there. Why don't we get a cool shot of the truck, actually? <laughs> Show you guys here what it looks like. So here is what the truck currently looks like. Some things are about to change. Some mods are going to happen. So you can see that whole amber front end I've told you guys in videos about before. But yeah, truck looks pretty good. But anyways, that's not what we're covering today. Today we're talking about some interior mods. So I ordered a set of some interior mods. They're like some trim cover pieces for the knobs. Like the knob here and the volume knobs and the heat control knobs and the four-wheel drive and trailer brake knobs. So the six right here, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. These six I think are gonna be here tomorrow. The one I got today is this one. For some reason they sell them as a set of six and then you can order this one separately. Uh, I don't know why, but I did that. <laughs> um, and so this one just came in. So I'm just gonna be putting this on, showing it to you guys real quick, and then we'll continue the video of whenever I install the other ones. So it's not gonna be too long here, but here is what it looks like. It was a, a black aluminum, I believe was the name of this piece. They have a whole bunch of different colors. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. They sell like blue, pink, red, all this stuff. But I think the black aluminum will look pretty sick in here. Uh, since pretty much everything else on the inside is black other than like door panels and Like these pieces here. That's like a tan color um, Not much chrome a little bit on the knobs vents Around here, but for the most part, it's pretty much black. Uh, I think this will kind of classy it up make it look a little cooler on the interior So I'm gonna go ahead open this up Get it slapped on should be pretty easy. I would think I'm pretty sure it just sits over the top of this and it's just like a cover that goes on there. So just gonna go ahead and show you guys what this looks like real quick. It'll focus and everything. We've got this nice painted swirkly black with a little bit of chrome trim on it. I think it looks pretty cool. In my personal opinion it looks cool. So we've got it on like the auto setting right now. So it should How's this thing work? It just spins over the top of it. So this thing will probably end up turning, but it's just a cover. Looks like it goes just like that. So I guess if you really want to, um, you could like glue this thing on or something and so that it lines up just perfectly. Cause just like that, it's just a cover. But you know, if you're gonna turn this to have it be something else, then uh, this, is this shows your dial where it's at. Like if I go like that, it's gonna spin it past it. If you're never gonna mess with them and you're just gonna keep it on auto like that, I'm sure you could just keep it on like that. But this thing does slide on and off pretty easy. So I might have to glue it, I guess. Not for sure yet though. Uh, I'll wait for the other ones to come in, see how they fit. If they're loose like that, I might just put a dab of glue on all of them to keep them in place. Especially because this one, if you guys can see, is kind of like tipping that way because that's just the way this sits. So due to gravity and if my leg ever hits it, this thing could easily just pop or fall off or maybe even get a piece of like double-sided tape and get it to stick on there. But for now, like I said, just leave it like that till the other ones come in and we'll figure something else out. All right guys, so here we are back. It's like two days later, I believe, from when I put this one on here, from when I put this um, trim knob cover thingy on. So actually what I had to do is, since I showed you guys how this is kind of tilted down like that, I couldn't get this thing to stick on and I couldn't get um, this cut out in the knob piece to keep lining up with that because you would spin it and it would just overspin. So what I ended up doing was I just took a piece of double sided tape um, and I just put it like right on the back of here kind of in this like 90 degree bend right here. So I put a piece right here and like a piece right here. You can actually kind of see some of it sticking out right there. But since I've done that, I haven't had any issues. And actually this thing still 
stays lined up in here even when you turn it. So no issues with that. I just had to put two pieces of double-sided tape on there. And I just got these ones in the mail. So I decided to come out and finish this video. So anyways, here is what one of them looks like. These ones actually came with this stuff right here, which kind of appears to be like that same kind of double-sided tape almost, or something similar. Not exactly sure, but it kind of looks like some double-sided tape. Um, so that would have helped a lot if I would have had that for the other one, but I guess I didn't know those were coming or else I probably would have waited to put it on. But I wanted to see how this fit and if I needed to use that double-sided tape stuff it came with, but I stuck it on here and I really can't even pull it off. I put this one up here first and it was stuck on there pretty good. I eventually was able to pull it off, um, but I didn't know if it was just too tight and maybe it went on these because I wasn't for sure if these were the same sizes or not. I'm pretty sure they are, but anyways, I just pushed this one on and I can't even pull it off. Like you can kind of tell here, I'm trying, but I can't pull it off. So I don't even think, at least for these four, I'm gonna use that double-sided tape it came with because this seems like it's stuck on here pretty good. Just gave it a nice push. It's pretty tight on there, doesn't pull off. And unlike this one down here, there's no little cutout right there in it. It's just circular all the way around, as you can kind of see here. It's just circular all the way around because um, you don't have like an arrow that lights up. It's just when you spin it, then these lights light up with it. This one might be a little different because there is actually an arrow right there. I haven't really looked too close at these though to see if there is an arrow on any of them. I don't think there is though. There is no arrow on any of these four. I believe all four of these are the exact same thing. The one I already put on right there and these three are all the exact same thing. So um, shouldn't need any tape for these. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on. The only thing that might be a little concerning maybe is just with the AC thing here because you do have that line where is all the other ones. There's no line or anything like that because you can just keep spinning it. But like with this, it stops right there. Same thing this way, it stops right there. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see that line or not. That would be the only downside. Then we've also got the other two right here. I think you can order like a different one without these two if you don't need them, which this one would be for the uh, trailer backup. And this one is for your two wheel and four wheel drive. But I'll just go ahead and put these on here. So you just kind of line it up, give her a nice push on there. And as you can tell, like, I can't pull that off. I feel like I'm gonna break the knob on here if I try and pull it any harder. You can almost kind of see that plastic bending back with it. I can see it in person, the plastic around here is starting to pull out when I pull on this thing. Personally, I think it looks pretty good. I kind of wish we could hide this chrome behind here because I don't really like chrome that much, but for some reason I like the accent line of chrome that this black has. I don't know why. But it actually hides it pretty well too, because you can see on this one how that chrome kind of sticks out from this black. And then when you look at this one, it's just kind of all looks like one. I don't know, because it kind of sits wider. So this is all the same. Another thing too, is if you can see on these, they do kind of have some bumps on it. So you are able to actually like get traction, or friction on it, I guess, I don't know. And you're able to spin it. Whereas these, they're more flat these have more of a material on them, so it's easier to grab them and turn them. Grab this other one, push it on there. So yeah, same thing with this one, I can't pull it off. So I don't know, for some reason it seems like these ones are almost made better than the light switch one. Yeah, so that's the only downside to this one, is you can't see the arrow at all so you just have to spin it until you find the right area and I know it's all the way this way because it clicks over and then it's all the way this way when it'll click over but other than that you don't have an arrow on it so you can't really tell where it's at which 
like I said, is kind of a downside because none of the four of these have a little notch for that white mark, so you can't tell what climate part you're on. But otherwise, other than that, I guess it looks pretty good on there. I like the look of these four. I think it definitely looks better than just the factory knobs. Go ahead and get this one on here too. This one shouldn't make a difference because as you can see, the white is on the front of it, not on the side. So this one, I think we're actually gonna need the tape because we're out of focus. This one just falls off. This one, they make a little too wide or something. As you can tell, that one just falls off. So we'll have to put some of that tape or whatever that stuff is on it. You can see how this one fits. This one shouldn't be an issue because we can kind of see that white right there. I don't ever use this thing anyways though, but just for people that do, I guess. Go ahead and stick that on there. That one's stuck on pretty good. The only thing with this one is it almost looks like they make it too wide. Like this piece is too big, they should make it just a little bit shorter. Because it looks like there's kind of a gap in there, if that shows up on camera or not. But you can still see that line on there, you can't see it the best, it's like halfway covered up. But for the most part it's covered, but you can still kind of see your line in there. But like I said, it almost looks like it's a little bit too big, but it's the same deal where this one's tight. I can't really pull it off. I can if I really force it to, but if I don't force it, then it won't come off. All right, so I figured I'd go ahead and show this to you guys because I'm sure some of you are curious about it. So the knob sits like this. This is the inside, and I was right about it. It is just some double-sided tape they gave you. So you can potentially put it on every single one of these if you want to. I don't really see a need to do it because all of these stuck just fine. Um, I kind of wish this would have came at the same time or I would have known there was tape in it and I could have just used that instead of using my own tape. But again, that doesn't really matter because I had the tape here already. It's not like I went to go buy it. But yeah, it's some double-sided tape. So as you can see, at least from in here, one side is orange, one side is white. So just peel off one side, put it in, and then peel off the other side. And this is pretty much just how I put it on with uh, this one down here, how I put the tape in it. But so now that I have the tape on the inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and see if this thing will stick. Give her a little push on there. Yeah, there we go, that looks pretty good. It also, um, cause I showed you guys too how it slid on and off super easy. So you put that tape on the side and it just kind of expands the width of the whole thing. Either it will, like it will expand the width of the knob or make the width of the cover smaller because it's on that inner layer. So you put it on and there's less space for it in between. So it kind of fills that gap. And then also you push it on and it'll make it sticky. So as you can see here now, I can spin it, it will come off. I can pull it. It won't come off it's just gonna pull out the um, rear diff locker and it's pretty much looks like all the way on there it's kind of dusty ignore that but yeah it looks pretty good and you can still see the arrow on this um, kind of see the arrow on that so like I said I think it looks pretty good uh, kind of in my opinion at least kind of classies up the inside of the truck uh, just with your knobs like not a whole lot or anything but just kind of I don't know makes it look a little fancier or something on the inside of here so this stuff shouldn't come off at all like these uh knob covers shouldn't come off at all like I said the only downside I could really see to it would be you can't see the arrow on your control climate so if that's a huge thing to you, like a huge deal to you you could potentially just make like a little sharpie mark and like a white sharpie right here or maybe just leave that cover off or just maybe make your own hole in here or just uh don't buy this one get a different one 
but I do think it's a little weird too. These ones are all kind of a glossy black with that chrome trim around it. So you can kind of see there, it's like a glossy black with a chrome trim. And this one is more of like a flat black with a chrome trim. So it doesn't match perfectly, I guess, but overall it's still kind of the same concept and all pretty much looks the same. It's just a little different. But with this too, nobody except you is gonna see that. No passenger is gonna be able to see that from where you're at. Passengers will only see these. They aren't even gonna know you have a cover down here. This is kind of just for yourself, just to make it look a little cooler, I guess. But overall, I think these look pretty good. Pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, link for this stuff is gonna be down in the description below. Um, there's gonna be two different links pretty much. There'll be a link for this set of six, and then there's also gonna be a link for this specific one. Because like I told you guys earlier in the video, I believe, then it's uh, two different kits, and that's kind of why they got shipped at different times. This one is the kit of six. I think you can get it in like a kit of four with just these if you don't have these two options in your truck. Yeah, so the kit of six and then the kit of one. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want. And like I said, they do have different colors and styles and different varieties and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Like I was saying though, the only downside I could see is that you cannot see your climate control button. Once you're used to your truck, you should pretty much know where it's at. Like I know if I spin it this much, I'm gonna be right in the center. My arrow for it is gonna be right in the center. But if I go all the way here, you can feel it hit. You're on the AC, go like that, max AC. Over like that, heat, max heat. You guys get what I'm saying? I'll go ahead, give you guys a different view here just so you can get a better perspective. So then I guess here it is from the back seat. Can't even really tell what's going on, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So yeah, I guess if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, drop a comment down below, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.